Welcome to the next level. Hey everyone, this is Abit Flashback, and today I'm working on the Kentaro Super Kuma 9000 Pi 3 case, and I'm going to show you how to do a couple different things. I'll be installing a 5 volt fan to keep that Pi 3 nice and cool, and I'm also going to show you how to disable the custom splash screen for Kentaro. So after you install the software for the power and reset buttons to make them function properly, you'll get greeted by this splash screen. And this screen might not be for you, so we can disable that really easy. So all we have to do is let it boot up to the home screen and then hold the reset button. And we're going to hold that reset button for about 6 seconds. After 6 seconds, we're going to let it go and the red LED light should start blinking about 10 different times. After it's done blinking and the light becomes solid, we can go ahead and reset the console and now that splash screen should be gone. So now instead of being greeted by that Kentaro splash screen, we're just greeted by the stock RetroPie screen. And if you want to re-enable that splash screen at any time, all you gotta do is repeat that process and it'll be back to normal. Now let's install the fan. And this particular fan measures 25 millimeters by 25 millimeters by six millimeters high. But if you want, you can fit a fan up to 10 millimeters high. And you want to get a fan that's a two-wire connection that looks similar to this, or you can use a DuPont connection that looks like this. And this is what I'd recommend. This type of connection fits just a little bit better. And I'll make sure to post a link for these down below. But for this video, I'll be using the fan with a white connection. So the power on this fan is DC 5 volt 0.2 amps. And to secure this fan to the case, you're going to want to use some screws that are about 3 16ths longer than the thickness of the fan. I just went to my local hardware store and there was plenty of screws I could pick from. Now it's time to take apart the case, and here's where the fan mounts. It mounts towards the front, right where these four screw holes are. And with this particular fan, if we mount it with the label up, that's going to draw air into the case from the bottom and push it out the back and top of the case. And really, it's your preference on how you want to mount that fan. We can flip that fan over, then it's going to suck air from the back of the case and push it out the bottom. But for me, I prefer this direction, and I did test both ways, and I didn't really see a difference. So I'm using four screws to secure it. And when you tighten these, you want to make sure not to over tighten them because you might strip the holes. So just get them snug. Okay, the fan's secured and in place. Now let's take a look at the top of the case. And here's where the fan's going to connect. It's going to connect to these two points right here. So most of your fans are going to have a black and a red wire. And we want that black wire to be closest to the Kentaro lettering on that circuit board. And you want to be careful when you're connecting it. You don't want to be too forceful and bend or break those pins. So as you can see here, that black wire is closest to the Kentaro lettering right here. And then the red wire is going to be closest to the power switch. Okay, now it's time to put it back together. And as you're putting it back together, make sure that those wires are tucked nice and neat so you're not pinching them or damaging them. And for a power supply, I recommend you use a 5 volt 2.5 amps plug-in. If you use anything less than that, you might end up with some voltage drop issues, especially with using this new fan. So now when I plug in the case, I should hear that fan turn on. And how the fan is programmed to work is when the Pi 3 gets above 60 degrees, it automatically kicks on. And when it drops down below 55, it turns off. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. If you liked that video, please click that like button. If you want to hear more from me, please subscribe. And if you want to help support or sponsor the channel, you can now find me on Patreon. Alright everyone, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.